Hello everyone, welcome to Tony Talks. Thank you all for watching. Till I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you. Bye. Okay, my name is Abiola. Fine, I might, but I'm not saying it like a mistake because I did nothing wrong. It is the work of a journalist to let out anything. And if the owner of whatever it is does not like it, you call us to order and we listen to you. Okay, I posted a man. I went to an event on Friday. I posted a man and um, the post was around um, three, four o'clock midnight. And I wrote, let me see what I wrote. I can't forget, I wrote, blessed men, or not this event and while citing k1's ex-wife new man that was what i wrote i can't forget it i wasn't tagging any name and i wasn't even putting anybody's face for anyone to have felt okay i am talking to you okay and again you might feel okay fine they are talking to you there's no big deal in this it's not as if I'm abusing the man or I'm bringing out what is uncalled for. Okay. Unfortunately, on Saturday, very early in the morning, I was out of my house. I went out just for me to be called by my husband that um, he's, he's been arrested. That he came. No, the, what started was he called me that somebody wanted to give me a job. And I can't remember anyone coming to my house to come and book for jobs. So immediately he said that I was like, for a job, okay, give the phone to them. He gave them the phone. The person was telling me, when are you coming? To where? She said the event. Which event? She couldn't say nothing. I just told my husband I am not understanding. And that was it. The next message I got was, I'm at the station. Panty. Panty station. What happened? He now said Titi Masha came to arrest him. That they came for me. That they came for me. And since I wasn't at home, at first they thought he was abating me that I was inside. I didn't want to come out. And it was even an assault because at the end of the day, he was asking for their warranty for the arrest. And the next thing, they slapped him. While she was in the car, they slapped him. He followed them they went there my hearing that i went to the station getting to the station i was asked do you know her and because i don't know her i can only say i know someone when i know that person i don't know you i don't think i've said more than what i was meant to have said i don't know you she kept saying you know me she's lying she's a blatant liar you won't have said that to me in front of an officer it is not done it is not done okay now we went there they asked me i told them and the next thing okay why would you post the man the man is my person what's my business with being your person i don't understand what's your name there was your picture there? Of course not. The next thing you said was, you are the trending ex-wife of K1. I've never heard of that title before. Trending ex-wife. What do they call trending? What is trending? What is trending about you? I don't understand. I don't understand. To cut the long story short, I was told to bring down the video. And I brought down the video not because of her, because... She has no issue with the video I posted. But I did because of the blessed man that was seated, the deputy commissioner, a very respectable man. He spoke to me and I dropped the video because of him. Because I don't know her. Yes, Titi Masha, I don't know you. You might be trending, trending to those people that know you, but I particularly, Adiola, I don't know you. I don't think I ever want to know you. Okay, we're on that. After bringing down the video, the deputy commissioner now told me to apologize. My adorable people, anybody that knows me will tell you I know when I'm wrong. And I apologize when it's needed to. I wasn't wrong. I, what do you mean? Um, what's your name? Pearl Artistry. 
You said, why will I say I don't know her? <laughs> I'm not understanding. Of course I don't know Titi. I don't, I don't know her. I might choose not to want to know her. Because I don't know her. I know the kind of people I get to know. And I'm repeating it. I don't know her. I don't know wicked people. I don't. Because you are saying I can't choose to say I don't know her. Why wouldn't I say I don't know her when I don't know her? Show no ya sorry pounds me. I said it that day and I'm repeating it. You walk all ya sorry dollar now. Okay, at the long run, she told them she wanted me to apologize. I'm apologetic when I know I'm wrong to a particular. I've not wronged you anyway. Your name was not in the post. The man I was talking about is happily married to his wife, which is none of my business. And I know of the gist. Okay, my posting the video in any way I don't think is attached to you. Telling me I'm posting it because of you. Why would I post it because of you? I was at a party with the man. And anybody that knows me will know I tag. I don't call out names. I tag names. I'm not a wicked person. Why would I have wanted to tag a large Ali, Because of what? It is none of my business. This is just a random gist. A random thing anybody would see. Everybody knows that. And whoever might be supporting her, support it. I don't care. But my coming out here is to make it known to the world that if anything happens to my home, to my kids, to myself, the world is going to hold Titi, Fatty, and Masha responsible. Because every now and then, after letting me sleep in cell for two nights, just because I posted a video, just because you wanted me to say sorry, and I said no, I stand on my word. I'm a loyal person. If I'm not your person, I can never be person. Nothing can make me be person. And I can't say sorry. I'm not wrong. I've never wronged you. I have no reason to have wronged you. Because I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Mr. Jane or Mrs. Jane Atkins, you said you were posting her before. You can post people you don't know. I have so many people I post and I don't know them at all. You want anyone I know, anyone I know deep down me, I tag them. Go on my page. Go from the beginning to the end. If I know you in person, I tag you from the beginning to the end. If I know you in person, I tag you and I must have something to say about you. Yes. You shouldn't have posted him and the man can sue you. The man can sue me for what? Do you understand being a party blogger at all? Show me that I posted him or show me that he saw me taking the video and he wasn't saying no to it. Because I'm not understanding. You guys will come up here to come and say what is not. I wouldn't have done this life if not for the person. That, so many of you that said uh, um, drama, why the sorry? Yes, your little god Titi said it and I wrote it out of duress at the station. Because the very day they wanted me to apologize, I told them I couldn't do it. I wouldn't have apologized to you, Titi, because I have not run to you in any way. But because of your whatever crampy power you might have used. Yes. Kosi Akbar, I told you Akbar alone, Lord. You are playing. You are freaky playing. They told me to put it there that um, I will be, because she said it, she told them at the station, because those at the station don't want a drama. They don't know whatever she's coming out from or from or I don't know. They now told me to put it there, I'll be apologizing to her for three months. And sticking it up on my page. Nipo Jetani Titi. Fatia be kilong kwe. Nipo Jetani. Will I pin you down on my page? Don't so wo, fumi lati fini lari. And while I'm about to I've not pinned them down there. Then I will now pin you for what? I didn't put anything there. I didn't even write your name because me, Mwari. But because the deputy commissioner is a respected man, 
I had to respect him. My husband wanted me to respect him. The very day my husband wanted me to respect him was the exact day they locked me up in cell because I refused to tell Titi sorry on what I did not do. Now you know what Titi does all the time? Yesterday, I started the apology crap yesterday. Yes, I call it crap. Because anything that does not come from my mind, it's all crap. It's all bullshit. I don't pretend I don't lie. Okay, I started it yesterday because I couldn't have... Um, the old world was all about Davido yesterday. So sharing the day for Davido with Titi is going to be a mess. So I wanted to put it on my Reloaded. Just for her to call the lawyer again. That I think this girl is very rude. I, and I'm going back to the station. That's bullshit. Titi Masha. If we bloggers or journalists are out there to respect people. You should kindly respect us back. You know why? Because um, they say it, age is nothing but a number. When someone respects you, you respect the person back. This message you actually sent. All what you've been doing have been a slap on me anyway. But this message, this particular message you sent <laughs> was a big slap on me more. Because I couldn't have expected you to have said this when I'm not your little baby at home. Hear this. I'll play it. I'll play it. They don't do such. Titi won't share it. There is no one taller than a bigger in a twinkle of an eye. And I could remember you were even ranting at the station. You live in the slum. Yes, I live in the slum. Slum, yeah, I'm contented with it. Toba tu asi kotolo ma gbe mi kuro ni no slum. We move away. We want to be ni mansion. Have you ever heard those that live in the glass house? They don't throw stones. Titi, do you know they don't throw stones? Hear this. Hello, lawyer. You see this girl? You know I told you she's very stubborn. I mean, a girl. What do you see? Hello. She deleted that post from her main page, the page where everybody will see it. I'm going to go back to the station this morning. She's what she has done. She didn't put apology on the main page when she posted the picture initially that everybody will see it. I'm going to take my shower now. And tell them to take me and this girl to court. She's a very stubborn girl. Imagine someone calling someone to on BCLO to on Shekbe in any way. If you think you have trillions, you have millions, only see up where I don't fall for money. Shofeba, I don't care whatever you might have had. But no think way along to die here. Look down, look down here. I am pained because I have never slept in the cell before in my life. I have this protocol I give my children. Whatever I want you to do is what I will do before you in my life. Titi Masha, after letting me sleep in cell for two nights, you now want me to pin you down. Don't share any omu rum, ne? Titi omu rum, ne? And at the end of the day, you are saying, I'm from a prominent family, the Masha's family. Oh, yeah, Masha's family, my fruit. And the Masha's family are there. They can call you to other. In my not prominent but blessed family, when I'm falling or going through the wrong way, they call me back. Because they call me back. You know why I apologize? On Monday, before I was released, number one, the DC is a very respected man. He did it the right way. A blessed man to the core. I wanted to apologize to him. And because my adorable mother came all the way from Ikorodu to my house to come and stay with my children, no one to stay with my children, I needed to be with them, pet them to school and hall. My mom had to come do that and she begged me. Adune, beke o yitobani kobi. Ma joye a little lapa. And I love my mom. I respect my mom. 
Abiyamolo Bimi. She called me to order, and I did.